Hello guys, TWC Coach here and I gotta make this video real quick. This girl is telling viewers of DirecTV, NTT, DirecTV subscribers that this channel, uh, WYCW, which is channel 62 here in uh, upstate South Carolina, I wonder if it's showing it, but that is a scroll saying that the channel has been removed off the lineup and yes they are they are running it on CBS too on the local CBS station but I'm gonna run it on channel 60 62 because the news is on and I don't want to potentially get flagged or anything but y'all see that y'all will see that while I am reading the law, the article from WSPA, and this is on the website. It, it's always the nolligations are always happening where DirecTV is pointing it at Viacom or the uh, person that removed it off the TV, and then the other person is blaming it on the on the distributor. It's it's always been like that. How I've known it. So let me go to here. Trying to make this video real quick. Um, but, um, and at the end, I will show you what is still showing on DirecTV. Made a video about this yesterday, and I'm making another one today here. And, and, and it's just, it's sad though. It's sad that, um, that contract nulligators um, cannot just leave their channels up on the TV while they are doing the, the nulligations. Um, makes no sense, but I'm trying to pull up the, the site here, and here it is. Um, so it says... It says, effective 11.59 p.m. local time, July 3rd. Direct broadcast satellite service provider DirecTV and NTT Uverse has, uh, has, has dropped the network and local community programming for more than 120 stations impacting consumers and viewers in 97 markets across the United States. The action follows DirecTV's refusal to accept an offer of unconditional extension of the exi existing distribution agreement to August 2nd to allow the station's owner, NextStar Broadcasting Group, and DirecTV NTT to reach a new agreement allowing the direct broadcast satellite provider the right to continue to air the highly rated program. With its long term record, record of delivering explementary service to the local markets where it operates, NextStar deeply regrets DirecTV NTT's rejection of the ex extension as it deprives viewers in the affected markets of the broadcast. The broadcast of leading network content from ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC, CW, and My Network TV, as well as the local news and other programming produced specifically for those local communities. Viewers affected by the loss of direct uh, loss of the service from DirecTV have several alternatives to continue watching their favorite shows, including local cable providers, Dish, Over the Air. Certain subscription streaming television services, such as and services such as uh, direct uh, or such as Verizon Files. Now, how I'm watching it is over the air because um, I'm close to one of those antennas. But if you're not close to one, you have to be stuck. And I'll put it back to to you being able to see the the scroll here. But you have to sit at this on CBS, and y'all can't see the full thing because I have it showing the scroll. But it says, next up, the owner of this station has removed it 
from your line art despite our request to keep it available to you. Please know that we are working with NetStar behind the scenes to bring this station back as quickly as possible. We share your frustration and regret any inconvenience. Please visit tvpromise.com for more information and alternate viewing options. So that is what they are showing on DirecTV. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue reading the um, article. So I'm not leaving anything out. And I bet Next Star told them to put this out. So that's why we are getting a good, a good reading here. But you can see that scroll. It says the development is highly unusual for Next Star but far more common for DirecTV and TNT. Nexstar has established a long-term record of completing hundreds of agreements with multi-channel video programming distributors known as MVPDs or cable, t uh, cable TV, satellite TV, or telecom companies. For the carriage of its television stations, and it's proud that, that it has never in its 23-year history had a service interruption related to distribution agreements of the magnitude of NTT DirecTV interruption. In contrast, DirecTV is routinely involved in disputes with content providers and following its 2015, uh, uh, I can't say the word so I'm going to uh, rephrase this. In 2015, NTT has NTT Ball DirecTV. So, following its 2015 buy, buying of DirecTV by NTT, they have dropped or they have gotten threats of being dropped or having channels dropped or threatened to blackout network and local community programming from Dish Network, Viacom, um, and others. Between May 30th, 2019 and June 10th, 2019 alone, viewers of at least 20 other non net star stations owned by Deerfield Media, Vilcam Media of Illinois, Howard Stern Holdings, Mercury Broadcast Group, MPS Media, Nashville License Holdings, Roberts Media, Second Generation of Iowa, and Wyatt Broadcasting, Lost access to network and local content as a result of NTT's DirecTV's refusal to accept fair market rates for the distribution of leading non NTT programming. Notably, in addition to its uh, ownership of DirecTV, the nation's largest direct broadcast satellite service provider, and a 2018, NTT acquired Tom Warner, including Global Me Media and inter Entertainment Giants, Warner Bros., HBO, Turner, and CNN. NetStar has been obligated in good faith to establish a mutu mutuality, agreeable contract with DirecTV. Significantly, NetStar has offered DirecTV the same rates it has offered to other large distribution partners with whom it completed successful navigations within 2019 to date. While NetStar believed progress was being made in the navigations, DirecTV misled NetStar as it has requested that viewers not be informed about the pending exp expiration as long as navigations were continuing to be constructive. Yet with minutes to go before the prior agreement was to expire, DirecTV NTT did not accept NetStar's offer for extension which would have allowed viewers in the affected markets to view their favorite network shows, special events, sports, local news, and other programming on the 4th of July and until such time as a new agreement could be reached. A little more than a year after putting DirecTV together with Tom Warner, Entity appears intent on using its new market power to prioritize its own content at the expense of consumers 
in insulating on unreasonable and extreme terms that are totally inconsistent with the market. In January, NTT raised rates on DirecTV, or raised the, the, the prices on DirecTV, and then April put through a price increase for its streaming per per subscription service DirecTV. Now, what they're talking about is ever since NTT has acquired DirecTV, they've been raising rates, 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 and, and that's why the, the, the amount of, um, the amount of, um, subscribers for, uh, DirecTV has been steadily going down. Even, even just in one quarter, they said, and, um, uh, one quarter, I don't know how that is, but um, they lost over half a million subscribers, and that's a lot. So I'm going to continue this uh, um, article. Nightstar remains eager to complete an agreement with DirecTV consistent with those it has made with every other cable, satellite, and tele teleco provider in order to end DirecTV's action that's both unnecessary and punitive to its subscribers. In this regard, in the time leading up to the expiration of the agreement with DirecTV and TNT, NetStar has not only offered an extension until August 2nd, it has also offered Direct TV entity its availability over the next 30 days to meet with you in person on the following dates July 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 23rd, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th, as well as August 1st and 2nd. And we are willing to dedicate as many of those dates as needed. Not knowing when you or your decision makers are available. To avoid any of this disruption in service to your customers and our viewers in 97 markets across the country, we, we propose an extension of the current agreement through Friday, August 2nd. This is the customer, uh, customarity process when obligations for distribution rights are not completed when the current agreement expires. The only conclusion that can be drawn from DirecTV NTT's refusal to accept Nextstar's offer of an extension that is rather than working on behalf of their subscribers, NTT DirecTV continues to raise prices while reducing channels and content offerings. And that is absolutely true. Um, I bet my mom called up to the to DirecTV. Ask them to lower the rates because CBS ain't on there. They wouldn't. And you you can't get or You have like places like Charter buying out contracts. Probably at the minute. Because people are leaving direct TV. So it says. Next star is highly committed to consistently elevating the level of service provided to local communities. In the markets it serves across the United States by making meaningful capital investments to expand local news, lifestyle, sports, weather, and other programming, and enhancing station infrastructure, production resources, and technologies. NASTAR regrets that DirecTV is willing to hold its paying subscribers hostage because it won't agree to fair and reasonable terms for viewers' favorite programming. Consumers and viewers affected by DirecTV NTT's blackout can contact DirecTV NTT directly at 208 South Arcard Street, Dallas, Texas 75202 and by phone at 855-567-1569 or 210 8214105 or you can contact customer support directly at 1-800-531-5000
Again, that is 1-800-531-5000. Um, that's all this to that article. Um, I don't get why they're doing this. It's unreasonable, just like they said. Um, you got places, and um, right here, I've got top stories. Viewers outraged by ATT DirecTV's removal of WAT, which is a local affiliate with ABC. Other next star TV stations, and I can see where that is at. I guess that is um, that's somewhere that's places in Tennessee. ABC is out. Now, I can show you the only channels that are affected for me. I'm going to be surprised during this conversation if we actually got the channels back, but I doubt it. Yeah, still, still no allegations. I'm only out of, right now, this is CBS. That is CBS. If I can get my guy to work. So CBS is showing it. And if you scroll down, there is the C uh, the CW will also show it too since it's owned by Netstar 2. Some places some people are saying the uh, the My Television Network isn't working for them because of it. WMYA for me is not owned by uh, Nextstar. Um, those are some other channels. Here's Fox Carolina. Fox still works for me because it's owned by Meredith. It's not owned by um, Nextstar. There's a uh, ABC that's working. The only channels that are not working is CBS and um. The CW. I want you to call. Call this number. Right when you are watching. They are open 24 hours. 7 days a week. Call 1-800-531-5000. And tell them to put on. Next our television channels. Back on DirecTV. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all next time.